Hi, my name is Heba Romani. I work at NASA Kennedy Space Center, and this is my story. We arrived at night in the no man's land, which was between Jordan and Iraq. And since we arrived so late, um, there were no tents available for us. The other refugees had taken up uh, all the tents. We had to sleep on the cold desert sand that night. And even though it was a tough time for us, uh, one of the uh, memories that I have from that night is looking up at the sky and uh, looking at the beautiful dark sky, the golden moon and the stars. And it reminded me of my goals and dreams. And what I learned from this entire experience is that no matter how difficult your circumstances are, you should always continue to uh, stay focused on your goal and dream big. Around the time when I was finishing high school, I decided to move to the U.S. to pursue an undergraduate degree in uh, computer engineering from UCF, University of Central Florida. I had a great time at UCF. In the entire four years of engineering school, my first semester was the toughest. The first thing that was a challenge for me was um, I was 17 years old, and it was my first time being away from my entire family, so I kind of had to learn how to live by myself, how to do laundry, how to uh, learn how to cook. So that was a challenge, uh, just uh, learning how to live, live on my own. And the other challenge uh, that I had was I uh, actually ended up taking Physics 1. It was calculus-based physics in my first semester, and I did not do well on my first exam. I went to a Pakistani school in Kuwait. I had a different education background, uh, which was different from the other students. I was very disappointed when I saw my grade for the, uh, on the first test. For a day or two, I was really discouraged and disappointed, but I knew I wasn't gonna let that stop me from becoming an engineer. So I did a couple of things. Uh, one was I actually found another female engineering student who was in her third year of engineering, and I uh, spoke with her about the difficulties I was having in the class, and she actually encouraged me, and she told me it was a hard class, and she had also had a hard time. And I said to myself, if she can do it, I'm, and she's in the third year of engineering school now, I'm sure I can do it as well. The other thing was I spent a lot of time in the library. I went there and spent hours reading physics books, pra practicing problems. My grades slowly started to improve in the class. Uh, right before the final, I calculated my grade. I had a B in, a, in the class. In order to get an A in the class, I had to get 100 on my final exam. I had never received an, 100% on any of the previous exams, so I was a little bit doubtful, but I said I was gonna give it my best shot. I took the exam, I thought I did well, and when I went to pick up my exam, I could not believe, I didn't just have 100, I actually got 105 on the exam because I even got the bonus question right. So that just uh, re-emphasized to me that consistent hard work is very important in your life. When I was working at Boeing, uh, I was involved in uh, integrated testing of the International Space Station components. And when we would do testing, uh, once in a while astronauts would uh, come down to the space station processing facility. They would either ask us questions or participate in the integrated testing. And uh, at that time, I developed a strong desire to become an astronaut. And I started applying to NASA to achieve that goal. That's how I uh, applied for the uh, NASA position that I'm currently working in. So my first position with, uh, with NASA was as an avionics engineer, uh, supporting the expendable launch vehicles. I perform technical assessments and work on expendable launch vehicles like Pegasus and Falcon 9. I work as an avionics engineer in the Engineering and Technology Directorate here at Kennedy Space Center. I support the Launch Services Program and I work on expendable launch vehicles, also known as rockets. I get to work on the electronic components in the rocket, such as the flight computer. As part of my job, I'm involved in integrated testing. Uh, anytime there's a problem, I do technical assessments and provide a recommendation of what needs to be done to fix that problem. I'm also the primary avionics engineer on several of the launches. On launch day, I provide a go-no-go -no -go decision. The happiest and most exciting uh, moment of my job is to watch that rocket take off from the launch pad and go into space. When I look back at my life, it amazes me how far I've come. Uh, I was born in Pakistan and spent most of my life in Kuwait. And here I am in the U.S. Uh, working on, for NASA uh, on the U.S. space program. And it, this, all of this has been possible because of consistent hard work. And my message uh, to the young women is that if I can do it, you can do it.